click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today I'm going to start with types of production process. Production can be done on mass scale, like large scale or on a small scale. So what are the different types, how it is done, how it is differentiated can be studied through this video. So I'll start with this. So there are basic two types of production process. One is intermediate, second is continuous. So again, intermediate is divided into three types. One is jobbing, batch and project as continuous process is again divided into process or mass production. So name still suggests in intermediate, small scale objects, less objects can be prepared and in continuous process, large scale job, mass production can be done. So we'll go this one by one. So what happens in intermediate production process? The production rate is slow as well as unfixed halts are coming in the production so that what happens is you don't know how much job is to be produced, what is to be produced and in how much quantities to be produced, in what scale, in what number is to be produced that is not known to the operator. So as and how the demand comes, production is done. As the flow is not continuous, very large quantity of different types of objects can be produced. So can you imagine if the production line is not working continuously, it halts, it works, it halts, it works. So you can't promise the customer to deliver the same pro product again and again. So in intermediate production, production is done but not on a fixed basis, not on a fixed interval. So the very basic and clear example is work of a goldsmith. As the order comes, the goldsmith prepare the material like ornaments or anything. If it is not fixed and it is not continuous, as the order comes, it has to prepare. Same goes with the tailor also. As the order comes, they have to do the thing. The order won't be similar. Order can be different. Same in case of goldsmith. Orders can be different. He can prepare a earring. He can prepare a ring. He can prepare a necklace. Orders are different. Different quantities and at different intervals. So. In these are the two basic examples which I can give of an intermediate production system. These are some general features of an intermediate product. As I had said in the earlier slides also, volume is not fixed. Production is not continuous. You can't predict the customer that you are going to give the same product again as the customer also don't give you the same order again. He can give you the same order also but what happens is Production line is stopped, you have to start it again, so you can't promise to deliver the same size, same shape, order again and again. So volume is not fixed, production is not fixed, same type of object cannot be made. Large variation can be seen in the object, sequence of the operation is not same. So hence these are some general features of an intermediate product. So these are some general three types of intermediate production system. One is jobbing, second is project and third one is batch. We'll see it one by one. Project production system. What is it exactly? If a project is given, you have to build a road or a building or a anything which can be built within a prescribed period of time, accuracy and with the prescribed money. Money is estimated money, not exact money is given to you for building that. Some estimated money is given. So what is a project production system? You are given a task which you have to complete in a prescribed amount of money in a prescribed amount of time. These are some basic examples like building road, building, etc. And some salient features of project production system are it required resources from different regions. It required scheduling properly. Delay of the job can be done because of different responses from different industries so or different agencies also so this is a project production system the next production system is in this production system job has to be made in prescribed time as well as in prescribed money in project money was not prescribed it was estimated in jobbing the money is prescribed like you have to complete in this many days in this much money with this much people so this is jobbing production system. It comes with a job like you have an order of 100 bearings or 200 bearings. So this is your job. You have to do this in prescribed money, in prescribed time and with prescribed people. This is job production system. Some salient features of that are 
jobs are being made in small lots or in large lot whatever required skilled laborers are required as it is a job production system labor cost is high because particular job particular kind of labels are required so this is job production system the next production system is it is batch production system this production system is required when forecasting is held for like for example any kind of medicine is required any kind of particular job is required which is precious which is required in batch and which is required in small quantity so in that batch production comes in picture so these are some examples of batch production system like in pharmaceutical industries in manufacturing of any drug or in machinery etc batch production is required so between job and batch what is the difference in batch very less quantity or small quantity then job is required for production these are some salient features of batch production system it need very detailed planning and control very much detailing is done for batch production because sometimes the job is very precious as well as it is only made when the stock arises or when the demand arises without that batch production system does not work so with that we had completed the intermediate production system which consists of project job as well as batch now you come to continuous production system so what happens in continuous production system as compared to intermediate it was only done when requirement was there it was irregular in continuation the name is said so this production is done continuously although forecasting is plays an important role in this factor also but production is done continuously as the goods are made it is stocked and it is sold as soon as the demand comes go, it goes from the stock and its sale is done so the production is not stopped always like if i'll give you an example of a toothpaste or of a pen production doesn't stop because market demand is there at each and every point of time so these are some basic examples of continuous production system we'll see the sub parts of it one by one so before giving that i'll give you an example of food industry food is required like on a continuous basis packaging industry crude oil industry or any of the pen toothpaste any kind of industry where production is done on a continuous basis by seeing the market demand these are some basic examples then we will we'll go to the types the first type is first part is mass production system second is process production system so as we have seen some salient features of production system which is continuous that continuous production is there there is no stop in the material flow input is given on a continuous basis as well as product is obtained on a continuous basis so when we'll see the mass production system it comes under large quantities of different objects are made and stocked and used whenever it is required the main sentence in this is large quantity of different objects some salient features of mass production is materials are used continuously even machines are used continuously demand is there continuously as i have given you the example of toothpaste pen etc different varieties of toothpaste can be made different varieties of pen can be made so mass production enhances different varieties and in large number the second type is process production in process production the difference is same quantity of job is made in a large number like for example i if i'll give cement industry sugar industry same type of thing is made but in a large number or in a large quantity so this is the basic difference between mass and process in mass same quantity of different products are made and in process same quantity of similar products are made but the quantity is large so there are some salient features of process production also they are production planning is pre decided low skill labor are required like i can't say low but same skill labors are required like because same product is to be made same process is to be followed so skilled highly skilled laborers are not required and even the process line production line is same so same thing is to be done so difficulties become less so these were the basic production systems which can be used widely in all the industries all over the world so according to the process to be done according to the product to be made we can go to any of these production systems thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikira and do subscribe our channel ikira